Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a traffic stop somewhere out in Texas where a pair of Sovtards have been pulled over due to expired registration uh, on their vehicle. In addition, the guy is not exactly carrying around a driver's license either, and he ends up getting some tickets for it, which most likely leads to the encounter at the DMV where they end up getting kicked out of the building because of their language issues, and the link for that one will be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, how's it going? Expired. Yes, it is. I don't actually have a license, but I do have something that I'm permitted to use. As an ID? Here, hold this. Oh. But you say you don't have a license, but it is a license. That's Yeah, but that's not me. I'm right here talking to you. This is not you? That's a picture with letters and numbers on a piece of paper. Wow, what a smart ass this douchebag is. Oh, that's not a driver's license. That's a picture with letters and numbers on it. Wow. So what's your name? Uh, with the, yeah, give me the, here. Give me the paper from your deal. So, so I can you said this is a picture of you, but it's not you, right? Right. And what's your name? Right. Um, if I've Whatever actually done... his mom named him at birth. Yeah. Which is hearsay. So you're saying that his naming at birth was a bunch of hearsay. That he really has no name. Is that what you're saying? I mean, uh, it, it, that's what it sounds like anyway. It almost sounds like a variation of the living man soft hard argument, which is a bunch of BS anyway. He was in, I mean, so is this the hearsay then? Is this your... I mean, his mom named him what he named him. I mean... So is it all... Was that a slip of the tongue? I mean, uh, that sounded like uh, she said his mother named him what he named him. I mean, first of all, there's the hearsay issue, which now you're confirming that his mother named him, which is a fa uh, fact right there alone. And now you're confusing genders right here, saying that his mother named him what he named him. So who's the he in that sentence? Silver man? Is that what your mother named you? Hold on, sir. Hold on. I, I, I just want to give you what you need, okay? Give me one, sir. All right, this paper right here shows uh -huh. that we did actually do the inspection. Uh -huh. What happened is we went to uh, Harlingen County to pay for the registration. Well, this was in March, so it's already June, almost the end of June. Let, uh, me, let me finish, let me finish. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, so, you insurance for the car? hold on, let me finish. Well, let me finish. So, your insurance, I went to Harlingen County, right? Uh huh. Harlingen to pay County? for the, That's yeah, the right. It's Cameron County. Right. I it's went to. County. I meant the city. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm not familiar with this area. All right. So basically, we went to pay for the registration uh -huh. two times, and they didn't take the money because we don't have an address. Okay. We're living in our truck. Okay. So that's why we don't have the whole, right. you know, inspection so then, part. So. Really, dude, no address, huh? I mean, uh, I've heard of some cases where frauders who are indeed homeless themselves, use the local homeless shelter as an address to get themselves a license, insurance, and all that. So what's your excuse? 7835 on one. May I have an insurance check, please, for Texas Paul Charles John 1652? It should be a Chevy small pickup. This is all y'all do is harass people over a fucking sticker. It's a sticker. It doesn't matter. It's a sticker. Yeah, in a it's private a automobile, I'm not and even required been to have it. To but, get it. You know. 
And there we go. There's the sovereign citizen that we were looking for right there. In every state in the country, including Texas, you are supposed to have a valid plate on your vehicle, up-to-date registration. And you know what one of the sad things about this video is? There was somebody who left a comment in the section below about this particular code right here, uh, about it saying that the United States does not require registration. Well, according to the, the uh, statute right here, it's not exactly what he says it is to begin with. Essentially, what this is uh, saying right here is a person can inscribe symbols or, red or codes onto different major parts of the vehicle. That way, they can be identified in case somebody steals them. And it's essentially saying that this is entirely voluntary. So basically, if you uh, put an identification marker on your rims, if they're expensive rims, that's per se, uh, then if they are stolen, the officers can track those down via those identif identification marks. And that's what this law is basically saying right there. It's not saying anything about... Uh, the registration of your vehicle as a whole it's just uh differing parts on the vehicle so it just goes with the mentality that people who actually uh buy into this soft tart nonsense don't actually read what they uh put on the screen so but let's carry on with the video shall we and just because we live in our vehicle and don't have an address we get discriminated against I mean, that's on y'all. Okay. We've well, been trying think, to do everything we need. Excuse me, Pablo to stop this vehicle and the driver. And oh, grow up. Everybody has to register their vehicle. Everybody has to go through the same process. You're not being singled out for anything. The cop pulled you over to make sure that you know that your vehicle is not registered properly and uh, well this leads to that uh, wonderful incident at the dmv that i posted earlier so i guess you're just a pair of sovereign sis and frauditor drama queens and all that so i guess you're perfect for each other question you right no that's oh, you, that's you why i gave that's me? why i gave and you your perfect? property because yeah. that's your property that's oh, not yours. mine no it's not well, did, you, did you understand anything? how these things work dude i pay yeah. a I I'll pay a fee I pay a fee to use that for for permission basically yeah. that's all it is you, you, you know but anytime y'all guys can take it away and y'all guys can yeah. shred it yeah so yeah, yeah, it so, it's, so it's yours it's not yeah. mine it's yours. no it's yeah. yours yeah you get educated dude seriously <laughs> okay. I mean, well, today it's going to be a uh, citation for expired registration. And so that's what you're going to do. Which is, which is, which is what you want to do. Instead of helping, instead of helping the right homeless, the right. instead of helping the homeless, you're going to fucking sit there and give them a fucking ticket. Instead of helping them, you're going to give them more fucking, you're going to give them more fucking money that they have to fucking pay, knowing what they're living like. And you're fucking part of the fucking reason why everybody fucking hates us. This is the reason, because you're shitty. You're shitty ass fucking cops. You're fucking pigs. Well, I can definitely see why you're homeless, because you have this attitude issue that, that the world owes you something or something like that. And, uh... Well, I'm sure this uh, very same attitude has gotten you fired from a number of jobs, which has led to you not being able to afford a place of your own, which has led to you being homeless. And this same attitude ended up leading you down the path of becoming a sovereign citizen, which led you down the path of not paying your registration, which is quite cheap compared to paying the ticket for it. Now you have to pay the ticket and go get your vehicle registered, which is going to be very expensive. So, uh, really, this is all on you and your freaking attitude problems. Fucking shitty ass fucking pig! And, oh, and I had to cut off a lot of the following segment up until the officer arrived because the female ended up unleashing a long string of swear words that I could not possibly edit out individually. So I just had to cut 
all that out. Uh, so if you really want to watch it, I will leave a link in the description box below and you can listen for yourself. And I'm sure that's why they got kicked out of the DMV because of her potty mouth. So anytime before the 19th of July, you can stop by or call any of these three ports with expired registration, okay? You know what would have been better? Do you have any if, questions? Yeah, where can I get a job? That would have been better if you'd given me a job well, instead well, of giving me a ticket. Okay, so I mean, you see the signs on the vehicle, right? Yeah, You're supposed yeah. to practice and serve the public. We're the public. Mm -hmm. Our tax dollars pay for you. Okay, serve what? it. Uh, you do realize that the uh, job of a police officer is law enforcement, not career placement, isn't it? If you want a job, you go pound pavement if you're able to. You go look in the classifieds. You go looking online. You go to uh, places and ask. You go to the job career center and you put in applications there. And if this is your attitude, is it any wonder why you're unemployed? You're probably unemployable. To begin with and i'm going to end the video right here uh, everybody because well as soon as the officer walked away like that there was another endless string of uh potty mouth swear words that are coming out of both of their mouths so uh that might get a video demonetized which again if that's the kind of string of swear words you were giving everybody at the DMV prior to you turning on the video camera, is it any wonder why they kicked your sorry asses out the door? I mean, a lot of people wouldn't tolerate that in that kind of place. I mean, think about it next time, dude. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.